update on uh, C.D. Lamb and where he is on the protocol? Making progress. Uh, he's in the meetings, so uh, he'll probably get to the point where he might be able to do some light field work today was, was the thought this morning in the medical meeting. Tyron Smith be pretty much limited in practice today? or No, we, he'll be part of the practice. You know, it's not going to be a – we'll be in helmets today and, and kind of a, a run-through type practice, so he'll participate. Are there rules for, for tight ends defensively when you guys go against them that are kind of carry over or Waller and Kelsey just not guys that you can kind of compare and say, okay, this worked or didn't work with Kelsey, let's try this with Waller? I'm sorry, you said rules? Or? Yeah, the rules that you guys – for tight ends that carry over week to week when you face top tight ends. Well, I think, you know, anything, you always start with the person, you know, personnel matchups. I mean, that's – the first thing that's presented in the offense and defense and special teams meeting, it's you know it's part of our team meeting, uh, the player profiles. So I mean you're always looking at the characteristics, skill set, and, and how how they apply to, you know how you build the game plan. So yeah, I think there's definitely carryover. I mean if you look at, you know the impact that you know Kelsey has on the Kansas City offense, and uh, and it definitely carries over this week. Absolutely. What do you see from uh, Max Crosby? Well, I mean, you know, I think both ends are, you know, definitely, you know, able to generate pressure uh, in a four-man rush. So I, I think it's a, you know, a big primary focus of, you know, how their defense is played. Uh, you know, the ability to, I mean, it's a gap defense and in the, in the integrity of the discipline of it. But uh, they're, they're definitely, definitely um, high energy. You know, and, and, and we're. Obviously, cognizant of the, our last game and uh, you know the production that Kansas City had uh, with the, with their rush, you know their four man rush. So, definitely a primary focal point for us offensively. You talked about some of your quality control guys getting a head start on planning for a game like this, but what changes most in your game or plan installation on a short week? Well, I think you have to be in tune with uh, you know the, the practice reps. I, I think the. The new wrinkles, you know, the scheme specific, uh, particularly situation specific situations. I mean, you always, uh, you know, put things together situationally. Uh, I think we talked about this yesterday. I think you, you know, it's always been my history. You, you may carry a little more uh, the week before uh, because you're looking, because every week there are common concepts or similar schemes that are that are done situationally uh, in the offensive defense and, and even you know in the coverage and return aspects of special teams so you know anything you can carry over you, you look for those opportunities but you know the, really the biggest focus for us uh, you know because I, I feel like the coaches did an excellent job of being ready for the you know the scheme I introduction and and the tilts is you know it's an uncommon opponent you know, they, you know our, we haven't played against the Raiders in quite some time there's you know a lot of players haven't played against each other so you know our, our challenge is to, to really be on top of the video and have a clear understanding of who they're playing, how they play uh, Thursday. Kelvin Joseph be back. We'll yes, we hope he's. And full. you add anyone else to the COVID list? Or no. Is that no, 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 nothing came out this morning. What has changed in your COVID protocol system of the height and With uh, COVID, yeah. what was the last part? Said masks indoors, but yeah. what else has changed in uh, the, the, the biggest thing is the mask. I mean, it, the you know the, the league protocols uh, are effective. I think starting Thursday, so uh, we we've, we've we started yesterday. You know, we just feel like we should get in front of this and being on a short week and, and just um, want to get a little head start. We were saying last week to check back with you, but I mean, you had such a short time to get ready here, but you want to acknowledge what happened with Marcus Paul last year. So how how will you handle that this week? Uh, definitely, we we actually we we celebrated Marcus this morning in, in a team meeting. So had an opportunity to talk to the team, and I think you know from my perspective, uh, you know, we want to make sure you know his legacy carries on, and it's important to all of us. Uh, but you know, we have 84 players in the locker room. And you know, 40 of the players were not here last year. So I, I clearly just wanted, I was talking more to the new players, you know, just to understand who he was and, and what, what he's meant to us. You have that players get up and talk to the teammates too. Did you do that today and have your former guy? I mean, I'll be honest with you. Uh, it, it was, you know, I, I think that's, those are better questions for the players. You know, I'll let them speak on it. 
We would celebrate Marcus. What about Marcus and just the way he lived and the way his presence was felt here was most to celebrate? I mean, I think when you when you look at Marcus, you know, as far as his professional career, bless you, his professional career, and and that's really going back to you know speaking to the men that were not part of our program last year. Uh, you know, he was extremely successful, you know, player and coach in this league, and. And as the stories are being told and the memories are being shared, you know, football never comes up. I mean, the first thing when you talk about Marcus Paul, you know, you talk about his faith, you talk about his family, and you talk about his fatherly presence that he had to the players. So, and I, I think that's really, you know, a big part of our message. Uh, just, you know, when you you want to celebrate somebody and he's, you know, he's part of the, the building blocks of our of our culture. And we talk about culture and that was part of my connection to him. I didn't know Marcus, I only knew him, you know, frankly, less than a year. But during the interview process, you know, the, the belief that he had in the players that were here, you know, the, the focus on the locker room, keeping it about the development of the players, uh, that was my connection to him. And I, and I felt that, you know, it's not always about, uh, you know, how you do the strength and conditioning, because obviously had an excellent program in place. Uh, it was more about the person, and, and he exemplified that to the to the highest level. So, and uh, you know, and we just want to make sure our, our our team, particularly our locker room, has an understanding that he's you know he's part of the foundation of what we got going on here. Mike, and I think you said this last year to us. He he had a relationship with every guy, maybe more so than other coaches, just because. Of Position coaches, he kind of touched every single player. Definitely, and and, and I, I refer to, you know, the strength and conditioning, and the, you know, the trainers and, and equipment guys is, and just from my past, and I, I say this with a, with a big heart, is you know they're the bartenders of our of, of our culture. I mean, it's, and I you know just from my personal experiences, you know, um, those guys interact with everybody. I mean, they know they know the. The situations that guys are going through, um, you know, and, and that's why it's important. And, and we're, we're very fortunate to have long tenured employees here in those positions that that have that gift of connection and and, and making sure these guys are, are being supported at all times during the tough times and in the details of things that frankly sometimes never even get to the the head coach. And I think that's all part of the trust and the culture and the structure of of what we're about and, and how we want to operate here. And and if you, you look for example. You know, uh, Marcus Paul was was that person. You want, do I need to smile for that? No, you're okay. Thank you. Pictures doing a press conference. Thank you. Thank you.